Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome back. And at uh, this time, we're talking to Kenneth Kerr and also Eric Mackey. And we're talking about the hurricane season. As you know, June 1st kicked off the official hurricane season. And yeah, you can tell because it's been a crazy weather and very, very rainy over the last couple of days. I always joke that we have dry and wet. And yet, uh, every time it rains, everything seems to go on a stop and a go slow in Trinidad and Tobago. But these gentlemen are the experts, and they're here to tell us a little bit about what we can expect uh, for this 2017 hurricane season. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me, uh, I'm going to ask, basically, June 1st and uh, the hurricane season. What exactly does that mean? Do we start the what? Is it, is it a countdown? Is it a watch? What is it? It's a season that we need to be vigilant because we can learn from what has happened to our neighboring countries, for example, Grenada in 2004 from Ivan, um, Erica in Dominica in 2015, and last year, Matthew that uh, destroyed Haiti in a big way. So it's a season when, where we can be impacted and we need to prepare adequately. I know that we hear, you know, all the times with hurricanes, uh, category one, two, three, four, five. How, wh what is the difference in it? Well, how do you assess the level of danger? Because sometimes people think, you know, God is a trini, and that's an attitude that you must contend with. Well, the first thing is that notwithstanding there are different categories, it does not so much depend on the categories for Trinidad and Tobago. The categories simply dictates the wind speed or the wind strength. Uh, for us, we are more impactful from a rainfall perspective, so that we are more concentrated on what the the rainfall in the system would bring for Trinidad and Tobago in terms of flooding. Uh, it has been shown um, in recent times that it is the rainfall that is more impactful for Cayman Islands more than the, the wind strength. So that notwithstanding the uh, category one, two, or three that depends on the wind speeds, uh, it is the rainfall. For example, there have been tropical uh, storms that were not hurricanes, that destroyed or, or devastated countries more than some hurricanes. So it's the rainfall in, among forests in the Caribbean that is important. Now, in terms of the season itself, are we expecting uh, activity that is more than normal? The activity that we are speaking about is that in, a, in the area of interest for us, which is to the east of us and uh, south of 15 degrees uh, north latitude, or to put it in a different way, uh, east of Dominica and south of Dominica, that area we expect uh, increased activity, above average activity in that area. And that simply means uh, four to, 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 to three to six storms with the best case of four storms forming in that area. That simply means that for us, there's an enhanced chance for us to be impacted and we just need to be vigilant. Now, from an ODPM perspective, Eric, what exactly is the ODPM doing uh, to prepare for the 2017 hurricane season? Well, the, the ODPM itself is prepared. Um, every year we go through the paces and so on. But it's, it's important for the population, for the, the people of the country to be prepared as well. And um, to, this is the time when you should be looking at your property, make sure all the loose galvanizers is properly secured, your roof is properly secured to your, the walls of your house and stuff like that to make sure that if the wind starts to blow, it doesn't take your roof off. And you should uh, look at your surroundings as well and secure any uh, loose galvanized lumber and so on because you would be surprised at how quickly that will get picked up and become a projectile in the wind to do damage either to your property or to somebody else's property. So real important that you clean up your surroundings and so on, make sure your, your surroundings around your place are clean. If you live in a flood prone area, be aware of the possibility of rising flood waters and take the necessary mitigative action to, to help prevent that happening. In terms of the basic preparatory activities, sandbags, boarding your windows, opening your windows, there's a lot of confusion as to what you really do. Well, um, you should, if you're in a flood prone area, you should have some sandbags to, to protect your doorways and stuff like that from the uh, ingress of water. Right, those sandbags are readily available from the various municipal corporations. Uh, you just call them up and make arrangements to go and pick them up. And uh, you should have those nearby and stuff. But um, boarding up your windows is always a good idea because again, I just spoke about projectiles in the wind. When the wind picks up to 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, things fly and it can come through a glass window and injure yourself or others. So should I leave my windows open? 
Well, you could do that, but bear in mind that when the wind, also when the wind gets to that strength, the rain isn't coming down, down it's, going it's blowing in. horizontal, so wetness is a problem. Um, in terms of the average hurricane season, uh, what exactly does that mean? Do, does it mean that I can expect more active rainfall? Does it mean that I have storms, storms versus tropical depression versus tropical waves? All of these terms are used in the weather forecast. And people are like, well, what is the difference of a depression, a tropical wave, a hurricane, a storm? Uh, what I could tell you, Eva, is that when we say a season is going to be average or even above average, it simply means that the conditions for uh, thunderstorm or thunder cloud activity is enhanced, and that means, uh, um, as, along with that, is enhanced with rainfall and the chance for flooding. So that it simply means that you need to prepare even better. But I want to make a plug here before I answer the real question. It does not matter what the season is. It takes one storm to make it an active season for Trinidad and Tobago. It, it could be a below normal season, but it takes one storm. And we have seen, for example, in, in the case of Ivan, it was not supposed to be an above normal season. But yet, the country of Grenada was impacted significantly. So it only takes one storm. And we want persons to be aware that you need to prepare adequately for it. In fact, in Jamaica's case, and to, to answer your question with respect to tropical depressions, Jamaica was significantly impacted by a tropical depression that set their country back mm. simply because of the rainfall factor involved there. And again, tropical depression simply means uh, any uh, tropical disturbance or that has a closed circulation where the wind speed is below 39 miles per hour. Above that, between, above that up to 74 miles per hour, it is a tropical si um, storm. And above that is a hurricane. When, then you go to the categories one, two, three, or four. But I want to make the plug. It does not matter what the season says. It takes one storm to destroy a country and to set it back. Intertropical convergence zones. That's also a term that is used a lot in the reports. And it's a fancy term, and a lot of people think, well, does that just simply mean plenty of rain and I stay home? And that is the local attitude that you must contend with. Again, the intertropical convergence zone is one of the many uh, vagaries that impact us significantly. In fact, the rainfall we recently had in over the last two days was as a result of the intertropical convergence zone. It's simple a band of cloudiness that is associated with the trade winds uh, coming together with the southeast trade winds and the northeast trade winds coming together, causing um, air to rise and forming tremendous thunder clouds. Uh, that's simply it. Uh, it gives us most of our rainfall along with tropical waves, and those are the two main features. Once they are supported by favorable environmental winds in the mid to upper levels, then we can have significant rainfall from these events. But I want to make the plug that uh, at the same time, we are in the hurricane season, but we are also in the wet season. And in the wet season, uh, over the years, Trinidad and Tobago has been impacted significantly from simple tropical waves and the ITCs, the modern hurricanes. And therefore, we, we need to pay attention to the Met Office website on a daily basis. In fact, let me make another plug. For those who have not downloaded our app, you can get our app on the Google Play Store or the Apple iStore where you can stay current, get reliable and usable information to make informed decisions. And we are encouraging all the citizens out there to, to stay current, get reliable information from the Met Office. Vis visit our website at metoffice.gov.tt. So definitely check it out. And a uh, quick uh, offbeat question, how do, you, how do you choose the name for the hurricanes? It's simple. Uh, the World Met Organization use uh, computers to generate these names out to six years, and these six-year names are recycled. If, for example, a storm would have impacted a country in a significant way that could be very psychological on citizens, the country may apply to the World Meteorological Organization, or even the region may apply to the World Meteorological Organization to have that name retired. And then the computer generates a new, new name. Uh, just to make a plug, in 1993, we were impacted to some degree by Tropical storm Brett, and I see Brett again is on the list this year. So we need to pay attention. So we definitely have to pay attention. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll have a hurricane Hemo. Uh, your closing <laughs> comments, Eric. What do you want to say to Trinidad and Tobago? Well, like Matt, um, we have a website, the odpm.gov.tt, and on that website you can find a tremendous amount of information to do with disaster relief and mitigation, uh, all the hurricane plans, the storm plans, etc. 
Your family should have a family emergency plan. You can find that on our website as well. We're also on all the social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter, etc. And we uh, send out information on a timely basis regarding any uh, disaster situation that's occurring. So definitely something to look for. Download the app and get all your information. It is the wet season, but also it is the hurricane season. And no matter what, take your precautionary measures and put them in place. So you need to be prepared. We take a short break. When we come back, we'll have more for you today with us. This is The Morning Brew. Thank you.